Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something that I've tried to avoid my whole career, an FTP test. There's two reasons for that. One, I need to start. Like It's mid-January and I need to like, start training. I've got, I've got the itch now. I've had three months off and that's the second one. I'm just fascinated to see with three months off how much fitness I've lost. And then I guess a follow-up down the line is how quickly that's going to come back. First disclaimer is we are at altitude, so you know, just need to, need to get that one in. The second is that I don't do FTPs very often. In fact, I just avoid them as much as I can. I, the last time I did one was in uh, early December, off of two months, no bike riding. That was with Team GB to see if I could uh, have a dabble at the team pursue. And, well, the results weren't great, so that's <laughs> the other reason I'm avoiding them is I'm not a massive fan, but I'm going to go into that in a future video. I'm going to adopt the Zwift ramp test. I just the thought of facing a 20 minute all out effort is not the go today, or ever really, unless there's a finish line and it's a 10 mile time trial. It's going to do the ramp test and I'm just going to see how it goes and see what Zwift decides is my FTP. Before we begin though, I'd like to thank Win Your Dream Bike for sponsoring this vlog. Win Your Dream Bike is a prize draw that happens monthly and as it says on the tin, you can win your dream bike. This month's featured bike is one that we know very well in this household and one that I'm actually a big fan of and could never talk about because I was always sponsored and now I am not sponsored by a bike brand. So it's the Specialized Creo SL Expert. The reason I love this bike so much is it has enabled Chanel and I to train together when Chanel was into her third trimester of pregnancy. And it's also enabled my dad and I to train together out here uh, in Andorra in what is the hardest terrain in the world and we could train together as equals. Sometimes if dad had the battery turned up to three, I would be less equal than my 70 something year old father. Massive fan of e-bikes for that reason. Uh, it's a great prize. There's also multiple prizes on offer. There's 10,000 tickets available. It's five pounds a ticket and you know, your chances are pretty good. The other great thing about When You Dream Bike is each month there's a nominated charity to receive a portion of the ticket sales and this month is Ruben's Fund, which is raising money for research into cardiomyopathy. There's a better chance of winning than the lottery or Euro Millions. The prizes at stake are great. There's five prizes available and you know, charity as well. The other, just last thing, since you last saw the Athos, I have Slam the Stem, stem. And I've not been that guy that chops the, the steering tube off when it's not my bike. So this is remaining and I'm going to be unapologetic for it because it's the right thing to do. And the other thing is I've swapped out. I'm a, I love the specialised power saddles, but I was sent this a little while ago, which is a Wove V8. I'm going to tell you more about that. on the iPad, as you see we're ready to go, <laughs> doing this chat outside the bathroom. The ramp is every minute, starting at 100 watts, going up to, well something that I'm not going to be able to get to I'd imagine, yeah going up to 600 and 700 it looks like, won't be finishing this, in 20 watt increments every minute, so by the time we get to 400 we'll be at, um, quick maths, 12 minutes. secret weapon that we didn't have last time with Swift it was the no pin sub-zero kit so in and among plenty of bread bagels and uh, various bits and pieces we have some calling packs we've got some calling packs haven't we Judy? which are going to help me regulate my body temperature because as we all know the biggest uh, opponent to indoor training is heat you want ready this one Julia this one goes on. this one goes on here. Yeah. 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 Which means this one. This one goes here. Here. I'm not very much mistaken. Look, Julia. Look, Julia. Look, 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 look. Hey. This goes in here. That's it. Push. 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 And then this one goes in here. Look. So simple, even a two-year-old can do it. 
Where do you think this one goes? Up back. Yes. Yes. Mummy help. Mummy help. No, that's it. You hit it. You hit it. Good job. And one in the top. Daddy's got a cold bum now. Making this as optimal as I possibly can. We've got a fan for airflow. Also a fan dragging in the air from outdoors, which is temperatures in the negatives outside. So we've got a fan dragging in cold air from outside, blowing it on me. Obviously all the sub-zero ice packs that they can get. Yeah, Swift is in a nice line of sight. Not too high, not too low. And should be, should be optimal. Should be. So first thing I'm going to make sure is, the first thing I'm amazed that the Shimano 12 speed works so well on an 11 speed cassette. The second thing, I'm only going to do Zwift's like five minute warm up for this because also the first, probably 10 minutes of the, I was wrong earlier, 16 minutes to 400. The first 10 minutes is going to serve as warm up as well. And again, this is how you can cheat Zwift a little bit. Well not cheat Zwift, cheat a turbo training ramp test is if you're measuring the power at the turbo trainer you want to make everything before the turbo trainer in the drivetrain as optimal as possible so big chain ring middle of the cassette chain's doing nice big big laps but isn't too crossed over if you really want to go all into it optimized chain stripped out all the sort of very light grease and bearings in your pedals and your bottom bracket you just squeeze out another few watts of course if you've got pedal based power then don't need to do all of that. So, just in a warm up, two and a half minutes left. Oak mode should then kick in and we'll get one minute, one minute free. Last thing before we begin, because I'm not going to talk much once we get going. I'm expecting quite a heart, high heart rate out of today due to freshness. Three months worth of freshness. Could be considered the ultimate taper. Keep, uh, keep a lid on things, keep the cadence down as well is the easiest way for me to keep the power down. Just hit 140, so yeah. So we're a little while before we can't talk, but we're not there yet. We're into the 200s, there's a point where I stop talking, start concentrating. It's nice, got something to lean on now, something to concentrate on, power's not fluctuating as much, so yeah, just 240. Still good, heart rate's still in the 120s, so you know, I'm not, there, not in any trouble, but ground tests are very easy. They stay uncomfortable for a while, and then they just bite you like that. So we're just about to start uncomfortable, and I'm going to concentrate.
That's that. Uh, not good. Oh, interesting that heart rate. Heart rate did not go as high as I thought it would. It's like my body. I think I'm a bit too fresh. Slash unfit. Yeah, it's like my body didn't want to go any. It's difficult to explain if I'm honest. The heart rate wasn't super high. It was like my legs were giving way. My body was giving way before. Yeah, I, just, I didn't feel like I could go as hard as what I would do when I was race fit. Yeah, which I'm aiming to be in a couple of months, maybe more. I got deeper into it than I thought. I, was, uh, I think 440 or 460. Thought I'd be lucky to see 400s, but I was well into it now. Swift just told me my FTP is 318, which, oh, that's, that's humbling. Considering my best, best ever 20 minute test, it's about 450, 455, which I think equates to about 420 FTP. We're a long way off. What's gonna be real interesting now is, with some training, where that FTP goes. And then when we get down to sea level, where that FTP goes again. Now this is, and I'm not, I know, altitude is a long running joke for me, but this is the first time I've done an FTP test at altitude. And, you know, thinking back with some of the, some of the sessions over the years I've struggled with and the powers, it might not be quite as bad as I was expected. So we're gonna do some more of these, just for an experiment, but we'll bring that and video to a close. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Win Your Dream Bike for sponsoring the vlog and gonna go sink your face in some humble pie. Gonna go sink my face in some humble humble pie. I am not as good as I thought I was. <laughs>